<laughs> hey everyone, Ava Poly here, and today we're going to be playing Unseen Trace. And this has been developed by my buddy Niven over at Appish Box Games. And you can find this over at Itch.io. I have a link in the description, you can all check it out. In this game, we play as a woman going to our mother's grave. So, let's give it a go. Like. Ooh. It had been five long years since Anne's mother passed away, but the pain and loss were still fresh in her heart. Every year on this particular day, she made the pil uh, pilgrimage to the cemetery where her mother lay peacefully beneath the earth. It was a ritual that brought her both comfort and sorrow, a bittersweet connection to the woman who had given her life. Here I am. Uh, I should check with the groundkeeper first. Then I can visit Mum. I don't need to check with the groundkeeper. Do what you gotta do. Hmm. Why does this guy look kind of familiar? I played a game recently with this guy in it. I'm not sure. Now, why do you have a bloody handprint on your chest? What is up? What are you doing with the dead body? Necrophilia. Bad. Bad groundkeeper. What do you gotta say? Hello. I'm here to visit my mother's grave. Hello, darling. What is your name? I'm Robert. At your service. My name is Anne. You shouldn't tell him that. Are you a new groundkeeper? I used to know the guy who worked here. Yeah, that's why there's blood on his shirt. Oh, yes. I'm his replacement. What a lovely day, huh? You look gorgeous. A creep. You know, I get very lonely sometimes. Summer nights are cold these days, you know. No one to share bed with. Anyways, you can go now. If you need me, I'll be around. I bet you will. You'll be stalking me from behind a tree. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Go. Oh. Can I take this? I mean, it's like... I can beat you down with it. How about the axe? I might need to know about those later. Who really knows? I don't trust that guy. I take it... No, this can't be our mother's grave. It looks fresh. What else is down here? Maybe that's where he the old groundkeeper. Maybe he buried him there. What's this supposed to be? Eh. Who cares? That looks fresh too, and there's a shovel in it. I think that's the groundkeeper. I don't think that guy should be trusted at all. Ugh. Mm. Oh, the one with the vase. That makes sense. Hi, Mom. I got your favorite flowers. I hope you like them. I'm fine so far. That's a little bit loud. Uh, should I be doing something? Wait, I see smoke. What's going on with my car? Where's the groundkeeper? You not to trust him. What the? How did? Fuck! Everything is in the car. I just got some water. Behind the cemetery is a water well. I'm the cemetery. Guess it's over this way. Boxes. Nope, I see it. Where is the groundkeeper? How did he chop that tree down so fast? Because it had to have been him. Oh, that's great. What the fuck is this? Are those... Bones? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need to use that. Can you please try to explain what happened to my fucking car? Yes, do tell. What happened? Oh, I was chopping some wood, darling. Do you need some help? 
Stop calling me darling, pervert. You chopped the tree and it landed on my car. I need help. Yes. You better have a fucking phone so I can call someone. And what is up with that fucking bucket of blood and bones? I apologize, dear Anne. There's no need to be upset. I did not chop the tree. It might have had some bad roots and just fell. As for the phone, it's in my shack. Yes, with like my other women. Yesterday, someone hit a deer and I had to clean it off the road. That's the reason why the bucket with blood. Too many things to do all on my own. Sorry. Uh, alright. No need to be sorry. I'm just very angry. Maybe I can help you with something. While you call for a tow truck... So that can help. Wait, maybe I can help you with something while you call for a tow truck so that can help out. Huh? I'm a little confused on the dialogue on that one, but okay. Sure thing. I'll call a tow truck. Meanwhile, you can help me carry some crates inside the cemetery. Just place them on the pallets. Thank you, Anne. I don't trust you. Take my eye off you. Where are you? got the boxes over here. I think these are the ones he's talking about. Let's hope so. Yep. Can I take more than one? No. Come on, we carry one in each hand, right? Alright, well. Make more work for me. Hmm. I don't want to check this. I mean, it is in the ground. Maybe it is the roots that just came loose. He's telling the truth. I doubt it. I wholeheartedly doubt it. The axe is gone. Okay, we just put this, uh... On something. Oh! <laughs> Each crate has a specific box to put on, okay. I didn't know groundkeeper guy was so particular about his boxes. I don't trust him at all. Old groundkeepers missing, there's blood and bones around, freshly dug graves. I definitely think there's something going on. Hey, I see you. Why are you watching me? I'm doing the job. Did you call already? I should have made the call. I don't trust him. I don't think he's really doing it. He's gonna come up behind me and pop me one, isn't he? I don't want to be your sexual plaything. Did he make the phone call? I would hope so. Very quinky dink. Gotta keep an eye out for him. Burr. All right, we got one box left. We're almost done. And we can go hide, maybe. Here we go. What is taking him so long? I should check up on Robert in the shed. Really? Sure you want to do that? You don't trust the guy, but you're willing to work with him. What in the actual fuck is this? Oh, I see something here. Interesting. Did we just get locked in? What kind of meat is that? Weapons. Take one. Take one. <clears throat> I caught another victim. Just like any other day. I was working down in the basement when I heard something upstairs. I got up, looked outside, and saw a man. A very handsome man. Instantly, I imagined how he would look lifeless and cold on my bed. He had no clue what was about to happen. I took a battery from his car while he was visiting someone in the cemetery. As usual, I offered to help in exchange for company. Once he entered the shed, I used my cleaver to stab his head and continuously kept hitting him. It was so arousing, but nothing compared to what I did to him in bed. Oh my god. No, no, I don't want to know about that. You've been victimized. I locked the door. 
must be a way out. Can I move? There we go. Down we go. I need to find the way out. Maybe find something to open the door upstairs. I should look around. Should, huh? Uh, he might come down at any given time. He could be down here now. Maybe he has a second way. All the car batteries he steals. Buy stuff from people's trunks. Eh, bodies. Lots and lots of bodies. What else we got? Are these nectarines? Hmm. I'm getting kind of hungry now. Wouldn't mind having some. Fruit is good. We've got a ladder. His base of operations. We've got tapes. Nancy. David. Chris. Ryan. Towards himself doing nasty things. Oh, there's a key. I cannot take the key. Okay. I guess I gotta put the ladder down. <laughs> Alright. Uh, did it go all the way around? We're gonna be down here. <clears throat> Although I get the feeling he might be. Good. I need to find something to open the upstairs door. A key, maybe. Yes, yes, it is a key. I've seen the key. He shall set you free. As he cuts our head off as we get up the stairs. Watching you, the tapes? We got Sam, Liam, uh, Maria. No, we can't watch any tapes. Oh. Oh, look at these home movies. Good memories there. We gotta check it out. Alright, so he's watching the whole cemetery. <clears throat> eh, forget him. Yes, this will open the door upstairs. Wait, that sound? Can I hide? I don't think I can hide. I can't duck. Can't get under the table. Okay, we're in deep doo doo. I bet he's down here. Can I hide in the bodies? Nope, oh, can't, can't, can't hide anywhere. Um, beep. What is he doing? Do I just have to, like, try to get by him? Dude, what, what you're weird. You're very weird. Are you blind? Can you not see me down here? I would say I could just go in there, let him go by me, but I don't think that would work. Hmm. Can I not take anything to help me? Yeah. The remote will throw it at him. Yeah, I guess I just have to try to get by him. This is not gonna be easy. Or it could be the easiest thing I've ever done. Can't really see me. I might be able to get right past him. just keeps going. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't know. Coming right for me. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> uh, whoa. Oh. Yeah, do it again. Oh, bugger. Okay, I did not think he was going to get it. It only took two hits to kill us? Huh. Although, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we'll get this key. Four. Uh, now we'll deal with him just going back and forth, not knowing what to do. Come on. Come, get, 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 you gotta wanna come. Oh, Damn it. How am I supposed to get by him? Don't quite get it. I thought should have had plenty of space to get by the guy. Still managed to hack me to death. And it seems like it takes two hits to kill me. Unless, once he hits you once, it just kind of can't escape it. I don't know. I don't know. Give me the key. Not much I can do. Except, I don't know how to get by him. He just keeps going around like... Looks like there's plenty of space to get by, but... Yeah, hide in here. I don't know. The guy kind of, kind of zigzags all over the place, even though I'm right in front of him. Which, I don't know why he just doesn't come at me. Come at me, bro. Bruh. Right here. Hello. All these victims of it, yet you're not really good at doing it. Right here. You are kind of... Are you blind? Dude, right here. <clears throat> I cannot get by him. He just won't come down this way. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. We're out. Anne has survived the catastrophic situation she was put in. After escaping the basement, she ran towards the road. Luckily, someone had stopped the car and offered help. Immediately, the police were called and they arrived on the scene later that day. Investigators checked every corner of the cemetery and found no trace of the man named Robert. The body bags in the basement were examined. Some were identified as people who have been missing in the nearby town for six months. The tapes were not recovered. This unseen nature of the threat made the police even more uncomfortable. For now, the investigation is ongoing. Wah, wah, wah. Special thanks to you for playing. You're welcome. All right, so that was Unseen Trace. Very cool. I like that. Of course, getting that guy in the basement, or Robert, to <clears throat> go by was not easy. <laughs> he just, it's like he just hits the wall and then he just turns in a random direction. He's like, ah, there we go. I'm going to go this way now. It's like, uh, oh, geez, I don't even know what, I, he's like one of those Roombas. He like just hits a wall, turns, goes to hits another wall. But still, I, I liked it. Pretty cool. And it was left open-ended, so I even could make a sequel. Maybe. Although I don't think he really does sequels. I don't think he has any sequels for any of the games he's done. Which is cool, because they're all different, all original. Now, I'll have a link to his channel also down below. And on that note, 
you'll have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.